Hi there. Today I will be explaining how to use the COUNTIF function in Excel. The COUNTIF function is used to count numbers or count specific items within a sheet based on a criteria set which you determine. Let's say I wanted to count the number of times that Mike has worked in this particular month. You'll see the employee name, the number of hours, and the date here. And I want to know a quick way of determining how many times Mike has worked in this particular month. How I will do that is use the COUNTIF function. So I will use equals COUNTIF. Now, the first thing you do is select your range that you're going to be addressing, which is column A in this case. So you can select the entire column, or you can just select a range of, of, care, of cells that you're, you're looking at. For this example, I will select the entire column. The criteria, you're going to want to always put this in quotation marks if it's text that you're looking for. You will type in Mike, and it returns the number of times that Mike comes up in this range of cells. If you were looking to determine how many hours or how many instances of four hours is in this particular month, you would just change this column to B, and then you would put four. There is no need to put quotation marks when you're trying to count if a number. Okay, so there's 14 instances of four hours in this particular range. Can you use count if to count cells based on a color? Using count if to count cells based on a color is not possible with the exception of using some advanced visual basic programming, which I will not get into today. However, there is a workaround. If you have the number inside of the color, so you'll see these cells are two and they are blue. You can use count if that way, count if, select a range. And then you will, of course, put two, just like the previous example. You can also do the same thing if you change this to column B. Say if you had the names of the colors beside each cell. And you will change it to blue. Don't forget to add in the quotation marks for text. And then it returns two. Can I use count if to count only cells with a true value? Yes, you can do that exact thing. You would use count if. The range, of course, is column A. And the criteria is true. And you will see there are two instances of true there. The last instance of count if I will show you is if you can use count if to count cells with values that contain a certain string of text. If I go over to this tab here, I want to count the number of times that the status is absent. So I will use count it, highlight my column B. Actually, I will select a range this time instead of highlighting the entire column so you can see the different ways. Criteria is absent. Make sure to use quotation marks. You will see it counts, as, counts the absent as three. There's three instances there. Let's say I wanted it to count this cell though. If you want it to count the word absent, and it doesn't have to be an exact match in the cell, you will put wildcards or asterisks after the quotation, but before the word that you're looking for, like so. This way, it puts it to four because it sees the word absent four times. That is how you use a COUNTIF function in Excel. For more advice, check out spreadsheetpoint.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.